Cheers. <laughs> Hi everyone. Now, if you're worried about your lower back these holidays, we we'll then... cheese into that word. I know. <laughs> we'll tell you why we cheese. <laughs> no, we don't cheese the uh, lower, lower back, back pain. pain. <laughs> but it's holiday season. We thought we'd just kind of get into this bit of fun a little bit. But today we're going to chat about lower back issues because a lot of people go into the holidays worried about their yeah. lower back. And what we're cheering about is that we've got five fabulous <laughs> tips for you guys that might save that lower back these uh, holidays coming up. Absolutely. So what I'm Dr. Tips? Lisa. Oh, sorry. Shall we introduce? Yeah. <laughs> Shush, <Brit. laughs> I'm Lisa. This is Brit. Hi, guys. And we're chiropractors at Errol Street Chiropractic in North Melbourne. So, this is a really interesting time of the year because we know what's going to be coming up over yep. the next month and we kind of look at Jan and go, man, if these people just listen to our video <laughs> <laughs> in uh, December. Now, it is really not rocket science what we're going to go through now and it is so simple. This is what tends to get people. This is what tends to really aggravate those backs because it's so simple that you just miss it really. Yeah. And people tend to be really careful when they're lifting up big things and heavy things around this time of the year. It's um, the little things that will get you. the little things that will get you. So we're going to go through those really important little things. Yeah. And just to kind of let you know, we've, we've got kombucha here, guys, as much we're as we're not drinking got. on the drum. <laughs> we have got a bottle here, but it's, it's not open. Um, now, the first thing is... Sitting. Now, yeah, it sounds boring, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, sitting, sit up, all that kind of stuff. But just remember a couple of things. So when you're sitting, and, and there's more of that around this time of Absolutely. year. Absolutely. It's on an aeroplane, not that yeah. they're going to be going on long trips overseas because no. you can't. Um, but, you know, interstate or traveling on the road, doing a road trip, um, there's definitely going to be times where you might be sitting more. So just remember a couple of simple things. The Switzerland spine, so keep that spine neutral, you know, nose over sternum over pubic bone, and then on the side, ear over shoulder over hip, guys. So really simple, so avoid that hunching over, and yeah, just maintain that nice posture. And the other really, really simple but very important thing is to get up yeah. often. If you're sitting and socializing, get up every, you know, 20 minutes to an hour, walk around. And the other thing is if they're, if you're driving, yeah. factor in those stops. stops yeah. The other thing is twisting. All right. And we're not talking about boogieing here. <laughs> we're talking about... The floors are open now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about excessive twisting and especially when you're twisting and lifting. So some of the times that we see this... Um, and it's more that repetitive thing is, say, um, twisting, putting things in and out of the car, yeah. with your shopping, you may have lots of heavy bottles mm -hmm. um, around this time of the year, but, um, and also just, you know, twisting in terms of picking up young children yeah. and, or, you know, grandchildren, nephews and nieces. Um, other times that you might be twisting, you know, after Christmas if people are getting into the garden and doing yeah. things around the home. So just be yeah. aware because that rotation and that lifting yeah. especially can really load up and, and cause some irritation to that lower back yeah. and that pelvis. So just when you are having to do and we have to pick things up, yeah. you know, invariably up the floor, from the boot. Yeah. Turning your whole body when you need to turn yes. instead of twisting from your torso. That's really mm. important as well because it puts a lot of load under your um, spine. But it's also for your ribs. I find that's a big one with mm. rib pain as well on a side note. Mm. So it can cause a few different other issues yeah. with your lower back as yeah. well. And because people tend to be catching up with those things around the house as yeah. well. And another one is really simply is twisting when you're chatting to people mm. at social occasions. Yes. So that rotation, if so I'm chatting to Brit for you know a minute is fine, but a bit of a conversation, turn your chair around yeah, so you're facing yeah. that person. These are really simple things, but we do, again, find that these can catch people out. Yeah. Now, the other thing is exercise. So the holidays, <laughs> so the holidays are about, you know, obviously resting from some of that routine and it is okay to give yourself that rest. Absolutely. But it's still important that you get some movement in your day. Yeah. So if you've got a big day, what could they do, Brit? Get up early and go for a morning walk or do 
20 minutes of some stretches yeah. or some yoga. It doesn't have Now, so we, we've covered sitting, we've covered twisting, we've covered exercising. Yep. One of the other ones is to reduce that inflammation in the body because when the body is quite inflamed, and that can happen by eating too much of those inflammatory or acidy foods so which is really hard to avoid yeah. at christmas time but just be mindful that if you if you are you know having a big lunch or dinner yeah try and just maybe fast for you know a few hours before as long as there's no medical conditions yeah yeah and just have water or some you know uh, some light green you know vegetables just to give that body a little bit of a rest um, from that food and that alcohol. And, and alcohol, again, is quite acidic. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when you, if you're drinking, then, you know, have a drink and try and have a glass of water in between. Moderation. Moderation. Yeah, try, try and just have that bit of moderation. You'll have to make sure you're hydrated because the, yeah. the muscles around your back love water. And when those muscles are really dehydrated, then yeah. that can also create some tension and pain, especially if you're sitting too long and doing all the, all the lots of other different things in your day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so just, you know, watching the, the acids in your food and drink and just giving your body that little bit of a rest. Now, the last one is the couch. Mm. <laughs> is all the pretzel moves that people get yeah. on, um, you know, that happen on the couch because you're either staying up later, mm -hmm. watching more TV, Christmas movies, Christmas yeah. movies, and you know, and then you've eaten perhaps a bit more and had a bit more to drink, and yeah. sometimes you end up falling asleep on the couch. Mm -hmm bad news yeah <laughs> so there are couch injuries people there are definitely couch injuries that will be happening and we see the result in january um yeah so you know just be aware go to bed when you get tired yeah. and avoid falling asleep on the couch so sitting making sure that you're getting up often making sure that you're not slumping yeah. and straining that back um avoiding twisting and bending and lifting mm -hmm. so make sure you're in front of that object and avoiding that torso twisting whether you're doing stuff around the house or chatting to people yeah. or shopping avoid sleeping on the couch you know give your body that bit of a rest from overeating and over drinking you know the next day or that morning and you know that day say if you're having dinner at night um and you know and enjoy we actually want people to have a lovely time yeah. and not end up having backache because Absolutely. they've just you know missed out on doing these couple of very simple things mm -hmm. so we do hope that you guys have will take all this on yeah. board and just remember those little tips as you're having a lovely lovely time this festive season guys yeah so on behalf of Britt and myself and the team here at Elwell Street Pyro we um wish you you know Merry Christmas. Very Merry Christmas. All right, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.